Welcome to Cat the Minion YouTube channel. My name is Teresa, but you can call me Cat. This is the weekly pick a pile. I'm using three different tarot decks instead of the Lenormand today, but the same Oracle deck. Just switch it up a little bit just to make it more exciting for myself. So this week you're gonna pick your pile based on which deck is calling to you. So you can either have my music deck that I made for myself so all the cards have songs on them and images that I scabbed off the internet except for the one that has my own drawing on it and then there's the Aquarian Tarot and the Mini Rider Weight so we have a little bitty OG deck here and the Oracle is the Lover's Oracle because that's what called to me sometimes the cards are more like emotional stuff that you're working on or just sort of uh, pat on the back from your guides or the universe and sometimes they're explicitly more dealing with relationships but uh, you know it, it's uh, general readings like this I don't intend them to be love readings but sometimes when I'm called to use this on non specific target romantic readings it just means that some of the things that come up will have to do with relationships in some way all right, so I'm going to do the music deck first. Put these out of the way for a minute. Now the heart card is supposed to be the overview and the other cards are supposed to be what it is the reading. Now I did shuffle, um, clear shuffle and then deal out the nine cards for each pile. Um, ahead of time because for the free videos I it takes a lot longer to process the videos the longer they are so just to cut back on the time a little bit if it's a paid video like if you go uh, sign up on patreon or if you purchase your own reading you won't have to deal with that and I'll, and I'll shuffle them out on the camera okay I think I could actually zoom in on that a little bit more. These cards are smaller. Check my focus! I was so burnt out from all the stuff that was going on around here earlier. Just, you know, generic life things. And I was about to fall asleep and really drowsy and I'm like, I have this reading to do and now I actually feel pretty into it. I actually don't feel like I need to move these. Let me look through the camera. Yeah, I don't feel like I need to move those. Some of the times I lay out the cards and I feel like they need to be moved. Okay, so let's look at this card here. Alright, so notice we have this sort of violet energy and this purple energy. So even though we have uh, like a sacral event here, this sexy times image, I'm getting this idea that even the root chakra has purple in it and then we have this crown opening here. So I'm getting a little bit of kundalini activation here as well. Like, we're not focusing on the material pleasure so much as being able to have the union to hit that higher consciousness mode to really activate the energy. Okay, so the card says sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. Okay, so this is talking about... Um, like blowing through your crown chakra up to that soul chakra where you're not only unified in your own self with your own higher self but if if you're in a romantic relationship especially if you're twin flame that's where you'll be joined up but it's also um it can also be like a heart to heart connection but it can also be uh, like that thread that connects you from solar plexus to solar plexus with someone else Okay, but it's it's saying sexual union, but it's talking about This um, sort of ecstasy that bliss which is I mean it's the climax, but it's also this powerful energy explosion that 
kind of sends you into another dimension. That's I think that's why a lot of people fall asleep afterwards. It just turns you straight in doubt, it like funnels you straight into the subconscious or the higher consciousness. So that's what we're dealing with here. I'm gonna leave it this way. Mm, can't really see it. Let me move these down. That's pretty good. Okay. Dude, flip these all over. So we have Nine of Pentacles. This one actually goes this way, just because of the way it is. Now this thing says my favorite color. There's this song that I found on YouTube that was an amalgam. It was like a jazz experimental thing that somebody had made up of all these other YouTubes. And I have a spreadsheet with the the name and the URL that, that goes with my cards. Um, and you can have them for free if you want, but the I'll give you the PDF. So Nine of Pentacles, my favorite color. And it's, Nine of Pentacles is like, all oh, my stuff is growing. So this is like things are things are coming together. There's a bunch of different things happening. I'll go this way. So we have Nine of Swords, Tourniquet by Evanescence. So we have Nine of Pentacles and Nine of Swords. And it's almost like a cancellation, but I also see the moon. Whereas this is a half moon nightmare. This is like a half moon dream. Oh, also dream number nine, John Lennon. Interesting. Okay, the way that I, f I don't even know how this was. The way I flipped it, I feel like it goes in the challenged position. Two of Cups fell in love with an alien by the Kelly family. So essentially I have a nine and a nine, and then I have a two, whereas like one cup would go with each of the nine. Like I, I'm having trouble manifesting this two of cups because someone's scared and someone's blooming, right? This is usually single ladies card. This is, I'm, I'm scared of the dark and kind of hanging over the Two of Cups. We have the Moon, and we have a Two, so potentially we have also Judgment. Let me move on here, because these are all going to go together. Oh, this is getting kind of raggy. I might have to print out a new set soon. So we have the Knight of Wands, Christmas Eve in Sarajevo, which is um, Carol the Bells. It's Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Transubstantiation. Now, when I see this one, it says Christmas Eve in Sarajevo. What I think of is that there's something to do with the number 25, the number 12, or that time of year, where it's like just a little bit before the new year, right? So it could just be this idea of there's something brewing that's about to shift. Now, a night for me can either be a 1 or a 12. So when I see a knight upright, it tells me the hangman's waking up and he's ready to get on his horse and go and move. We have that wands energy, so we have fire, water, swords, and pentacles. We have all the elements on the table here. I'm trying to get better at holding the cards so I don't have it hanging up here with my hand in the frame. Four of swords inverted. Okay. So this song is Sleepwalk, Santo and Johnny. And I sometimes I equate the fingers with swords and notice that there's fingers here like swords as well. So we have the nine and the four next to each other, 13. I said the hangman is waking up. When the four of swords is upside down, it means the guy who's sleeping after the battle is waking up. The knight is woken up. He's come from this death cycle. But when I was saying that, um, that Christmas Eve thing in the beginning of something new, I was thinking of a cycle that's ending death and then something that's starting up again. Trans, when I said transubstantiation, trans there, as if I wasn't trying to say four words at the same time, is essentially what happens with the death card. It was called, what was it called? It was called something else in the, the angel deck, and now I can't remember. I gotta find it. Oh, it's called release. See, I turned towards it and I remembered. So it can be release, release of the nightmares. Okay, so the Magician inverted. So there's that beginning. 
So this is the Seven Medals of Alchemy by Mannheim Steamroller. So in this particular deck, when I get the Steamroller, I also associate it with the Chariot. Sort of like my steam engine's down. Where's the, where's the magic? A little bit, right? Where's the magic? We're not moving ahead. There's a, a block to the union, right? Sexual union bliss, but this inability to come together is causing stress. I'm trying to force it instead of allowing the universe to expand it, but there's sort of this idea of I'm waking up to this idea. I have four, 1 in 414 here, not something's not in balance. And then we have this sort of zero point where there's thing like the waveform is canceling out. And then 13 death, 13 death, 5 a shift, 3 possibly Empress energy, Possibly one, possibly six healing, possibly 17 the star, which breaks back down to eight, which would be strength or justice. Or if it's eight of swords coming out of this mental prison, or eight of wands, this sort of solar push to move and communicate. The Page of Swords Inverted, okay, so this is little sprite character is from Crypt of the Necrodancer. The song is called OST Zone 1 Level 2. It's the same guy that did the music for The Binding of Isaac, and this is actually a female character, which is fine, doesn't really matter. The Page of Swords is equivalent to, like, a young female or a, a princess or, you know, any sort of youthful energy that's a little bit more creative in their their essence. So we have a 1 or 11 and that was inverted. So I'm seeing a lot of swords. <clears throat> 9 and 4, 13. Breaking down to 4 again. 1 or 11, 15. 6. Okay, let's see what these are. Okay, so now the Page of Wands. So this is such a night. This is Elvis. This is actually not a picture of Elvis. It's actually a, a picture of Kurt Russell from 3,000 miles to Graceland. <clears throat> so the Page of Wands for me is usually like the one night stand kind of guy. But I see the knight and the page. It's sort of like I want to like... I'm ready to go, I'm waking up, I'm hot to trot, but my my horse has a, a flat tire, and I'm not quite sure how to express myself, but I, I know that I want to go. The, and notice how I have two pages canceling out, two nines canceling out. You notice the differences between them is like one... 9, 10, or 11, where there's the 2 between them. Hopefully that made sense. Rubber Soul. Okay, so we have The Lovers, and the song is In My Life from the Rubber Soul album. I'm not surprised to see The Lovers here. So we actually go from the lower vibrational Lovers here to the actual Lovers here. This is Gemini, the Twins. It's also Healing. And the one before the movement. I kind of, it's like I have a bowel obstruction. I'm, every time I feel like I want to move towards this, I crap my pants. <laughs> it's like premature ejaculation. Like, I keep trying to be with somebody before it's time. I have this sort of... It's like, I f I'm afraid that I'm running out of time. I am I need to go faster. I need to go faster. I'm, I'm aware of what I need, but why isn't it happening, right? 
why isn't it going the way I want to? Or it's like I want to like, like come right in and it's not happening. But the ultimate result is this lover's energy with this sexual union that helps break apart the vestiges of the fear. But it's... So the energy for this week is, is just sort of trying to be like in the moment, right? The central aspect of this reading is the Four of Swords. Sleepwalk. And it says extended, right? Even though it's inverted, it's like, it's taking me a long time to wake up, right? It's like, it's going to take just as long to get going as it did for stuff to get stuck. All the energies have to unwind. I want to see... My battery's going to die soon, too. I want to see what these energies are, because I haven't looked at them yet. Nine of Pentacles... Venus in Virgo. Okay, we're about to be in Virgo here, if we're not already. Knight of Wands. Leo and Virgo. Okay. Page of Swords. Winter with Earth of Air. Okay. Nine of Swords. Mars in Gemini. Okay, so here's the Gemini energy. There's a conflict in relation to healing. It's like, I don't know if we could ever be together, I'm afraid. It's, it's the ego, though. It's like an ego of lack that says, there, you'll always be alone. There's nobody for you. Nobody wants you. You're a piece of crap. That's that kind of what if I'm not good enough kind of a fear. No, I think it's interesting, it says Christmas Eve in Sarajevo, and then the lyric in here is Christ tourniquet my suicide. What's that? Um, just that word. And what's interesting is that a lot of people call this kind of, um, like, blowing out your crown chakra and getting this, like, high attachment. They call it Christ Consciousness. So that might have something to do with it. I also feel like Graceland has something to do with it as well. Because it mentions Sarajevo here, which is not as important, but it mentions a specific place. And then this mentions Graceland. But in the movie, spoiler alert, 3,000 miles to Graceland. So you might be, part of the problem with getting there might be that you're a long distance apart. There might be an ocean or like the entire United States between somebody and their person. Um, but in, spoiler alert, in this movie, Graceland wasn't actually Graceland. It was the name of a boat, which is a mode of transportation over the emotional waters. It's like... It's like the ship in the Lenormand. Um, I'm going to have to change the battery and make another section. Now, I also was thinking that um, in these illuminated manuscripts, there would always be a Cairo page relating to Christ. And it's basically the letters C and R. So those letters might be relevant to somebody, or it might be the, like, actually Cairo. Like, your connection might have to do something with Egypt. Or, you know, some other place that has the letters C and R, like Cedar Rapids or something like that. That might be something to do with why this is having trouble moving. Oh, I'm trying to think of the lyrics to this. I can't quite get it. Okay. Oh, 
I'm getting lyrics to this, but it's not really relevant to... I can't really make it relevant to the reading. Okay. So this is... I mean, essentially, this song is about... Um, sort of encountering somebody suddenly and then like n like sort of knowing that they're the one for you and then going and being together and then it's it ends up being sort of magical which is interesting right next to the magician and this could also be a masculine energy who's having trouble too like I'm not in my own power because there isn't a king here but there's a knight it's like I'm almost there Oh, I forgot to keep looking at the things. Two of Cups, Venus in Cancer, and this was Venus in Virgo. Nine of Swords, Mars in Gemini. So we have 11 with the feminine energy and nine with the masculine energy. So it's 911 again, it's an emergency. There's something emerging from the ether. There's a shift. Nine and four, 13 breaks down to a four again, and six is 10 completion. 13 and six is 19, which is the sun also breaking down. It's a page of wands. Summer and Earth of Fire, and this is winter. Okay, so we have winter inverted and then summer here, so it's saying like summer, summer. And then I'm getting sun energy coming down the diagonal. So it's, it's like, what's happening is really trying to play out, like, this summer. And that's, I mean, that I mean that for the Northern Hemisphere. Because if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, it might be reversed, like. And I'm not sure how that would read. Or you would just have to wait another season. Ah, <sighs> Nine of Swords. Mars, which rules Aries, which could be springtime. Four of Swords, Jupiter in Libra, which could also be Venusian energy, but then we have kind of like a retrograde, but the Sagittarius, Sagittarius energy is sort of like, it's not going where you think it's going to go, right? You shoot your arrow and it get somebody in the foot instead of the apple on their head right every time you go to make a move you end up shooting yourself in the foot hmm and the magician is mercurial energy so there's sort of a flow of conversation that's not quite happening This is the linchpin. What's going on with the Four of Swords? Let me clarify the Four of Swords, because I think that's what the issue is here. Clarify the Four of Swords. I think this reading is just about done. I don't know if there's much more I can get out of this, but I think if I clarify the Four of Swords, it will help clear up this, what, what the block is, because there's something that's... I don't want all of these. There's something that's slowing this down. Okay, so I have the Five of Pentacles. Don't come around here no more. Inverted. Really? Mercury in Taurus. Okay, so that's Venusian energy plus this Mercury energy. Also inverted, but this is like a shift pivot, which I said one and four pivot. Also upside down matching. We're coming out of feeling left out in the cold, right? Coming from winter to summer. I'm allowing you in. And then we have the page of pentacles to go with this nine over here. Teach your children. <laughs> Crosby, Stills, and Nash. And, it, and the picture I use says deja vu here, right? It's like I feel like I've been here before. 
so again it it with that that Cairo sounding like Cairo Egypt even which is, is how it's um, the auto subtitles catch it when I say it um, it could be indicating a past life you weren't allowed to be together previously and that that sort of nightmare of being kept apart is making it hard to come together now right it's like I'm learning from the mistakes of the past I'm teaching the next generation of myself how to do it better so that's five and then one or eleven that could be six healing and then I have the page of cups here the turtles you know what I mean right wouldn't we two be together you know what I mean this is basically the same as this but there's all like every single page is on this thing I think right or is it one two three four yeah and the only one that's inverted is the page of swords so it's like I am ready to go on every like in every aspect it's like we want to be the emperor and the empress but coming together with the truth of what this relationship is is a struggle because there's still this energy from the past of things going all f effed up like foobar this card also, this the game that this is from, the the character has to move in the rhythm to the music in in the game. So when this is inverted, it's like we're not in rhythm, we're out of sync with each other. It's like we can't we can't fully be at this level we're trying to like magically skip over the beginning part of it and get right into this deeper soul level when we're coming at each other at this page level right you need to in order to get to the major arcana you have to go through travel through the minor first and it's like Oh, I don't want to. I don't just want two cups. I want like two gallon friggin. I want two huge barrels. All right? Can I just stick my head under the spigot? That's what it is. It's like it's not good enough just to be together. I want like I want our souls to be like sandwiched together and there the magic isn't happening because it's like trying to skip a step where if you don't if you cross the wires your thing's gonna explode and it's this past thing past energy either previous lifetimes or now of dealing with this person is that it hasn't worked out well if you keep skipping the important step in the middle or at the beginning you're 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 not going to make it into the major arcana right so it's get over the fear start to get into the flow of the universe in rhythm with each other and then you can turn that page of swords around and have the basis for this emperor empress all the kingdoms all the chakras okay that's good i got it now i got it now all right, so we're doing the Aquarian Tarot next here. Get this thing out. Ah, stuff stuck to my fingers. Ah. Take a minute and see if I need to move <laughs> move any of these. Great, now I get hiccups. Uh, 
Oh, okay. I'm gonna move these ones. One of these needs to be turned around, and I'm not sure which. I need to. One of these. Let's see. Okay. Let's see if that works. I'm going to lay flat, but I think the cards are a little bit warped for me shuffling them. Is that it? I still don't feel convinced that that's the right... I feel like that's right. Turn this one, but not that one. Nope. Okay, now it's right. That was really bothering me. Okay, so let's see what the overview is going to be. Okay, so we have this figure with the third eye activation. It looks like they're in their feelings. They might not be sad, they might just be sort of reflective. And we do have this transformative energy. I see this bright pink, and to me that, that kind of indicates heart chakra, but it's a little bit of like a combination of uh, like root and crown as well, or root and third eye. I mean, deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Okay, so we have heart energy, and then the deepness, maybe going all the way down into the basement, the root, and then knowing is that third eye energy. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. It's like, oh man, I really, yeah, all right, I know. Oh, that's snuffly. Okay. All right, let's look at these cards. Look at the cards. Yeah. Ace of Swords inverted. King of Cups inverted. Interesting. Page of Pentacles inverted. Oh, this energy feels slightly similar to the other one. The High Priestess inverted. Oh, did I hold that upright so I see it better? Eight of Wands, Eight of Rods in this deck, upright. The World Inverted. Saturn Retrograde. The Nine of Pentacles inverted. This corner's talking to that corner, and the difference is the one. Wow. The Wheel of Fortune inverted to go along with that. Wow, this is effed up a little bit. The Tower inverted. Wow. Fire, fire, earth, 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 fire, water, air, not much air, but the other suits are present. There's supposed to be a grand fire trine sometime, let me see, this is... Mars. This is Sagittarius. What's Eight of Rods? Hmm. 
also Sagittarius. Mercury, Mercurial energy. Spring, like winter. Mercury in Virgo. Mercury. Okay. So Mercury not doing well with Virgo. Wanting to go with the arrow. The moon inverted tells me the sun, which ends up being fire again. But I also see the High Priestess as Neptunian energy. I, I relate her to Pisces, so I see Saturn retrograde, Neptune retrograde. And this, I'm getting Uranus retrograde from this because it's an air sign. King of Cups. Libra Scorpio. Wait, that's not right. Oh, that is right. Eleven. One, one, one. Ten. Three, nine, seven. Seven and nine is sixteen again. It's like something in the world is breaking down. Something that you built that you thought was fruitful. You thought someone was going to be there to help you. You were not noticing that they weren't really helping you. Sort of unaware of the truth of the matter. Having a hard time leveling up. 911. There's always some emergency every time you think you're going to level up that keeps you from moving forward. Never able to gain any kind of balance. Really stressed out, feeling like crap, and never seeming to get anywhere in the world. But what's what's upright in this reading is the Eight of Rods. Mercury in Sagittarius. There's some kind of core inspiration, fire energy deep in the gut. It's like, I'm getting spirit slapped from all angles. Mercurial energy can sometimes be like a trickster, right? Mercury was a little cheeky in the Greek pantheon. He's also equated with Hermes Trismegistus, which is this um, sort of mystic, mystic wise, um, sacred knowledge kind of situation. It's like, I'm getting a fleet of downloads. And that's that you already know the answer. Do what feels right. King of Cups inverted is... I don't feel so good. This is effed up. I think I want a little bit of clarity, though. I want to clarify the king. Okay, I've got two peekers and the page of cups. I'm not happy, but I want to s figure out how to be happy. 
kinks in my head. Page of Cups, that's my energy. Fall and Earth of Water. Okay, so these other two cards that were peaking. Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups inverted. Okay. So this is all about the emotion, do what feels right. I'm not happy if I can't let go of what's not making me happy. I need to, page one, overcome this eight to at least get to nine. But it could also be 11. I'm, I'm starting a new emotional venture. I'm gonna think about me this time. What are these energies, eight and nine? Saturn in Pisces over here. Sagittarius in Pisces. Okay, so we have this heavy energy of Neptune and Saturn. And I said Neptune up here as well. Wait, not Neptune. What the hell am I talking about? Jupiter. Jupiter and no, that's still not right. Okay. I said it right the first time. Saturn, Neptune, retrograde. This is what happens when you do tarot after burnout. Um. This has the Sagittarius energy again, which is the south node right now. Dear God, that would have made sense if I had said it right. Also, I noticed 17 here, the star. So it's like, I'm hoping, I'm trying to gain strength, eight, to put my emotional needs over trying to make it in the world. Do what feels right, right? If it doesn't feel right, what are you doing? King, also five, pivot, five, eight, 13. So I think this Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles goes together, and then we have a page, page here. It's like, I need to turn the page in, the, in my life. I'm getting a card to clarify the Eight of Rods. So we have Eight of Swords coming out of this nightmare, and now the King of Wands. So if I get out of this self-inflicted mental torment where my emotions somehow aren't important eight of cups get rid of it eight eight that's that tower that controlled demolition like rearranging my insides energy and then we have the ability to go from this king with emotional imbalance to a king that has a balance in their own personal personal a balance in their own personal power. God damn, I can't talk. <clears throat> Which is why we see the eight with the rods upright. Power! Okay, that's enough for that. So, for whoever is getting this Aquarian tarot reading, do what feels right in your heart, and then knowing this gut feeling of what it is that you want, where everything else that's been going on is all cockeyed and doesn't work. Okay. Now we'll start another segment for this. Okay, so we're doing the pile with the mini rider weight. This guy up here. He's here. Let's see how that feels. I guess that one goes that way. I think that's right. Alright, so let's look at this card. Okay. So this is like 
heart chakra turbo blast here. Expansion. My heart done grew three sizes that day. Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Maybe I can zoom in on this a little more. Because they are teensy. Teensy little gardens. Okay. Hanged man inverted. Water with Neptune energy. Wait, no, he's upright. What the hell? Well, anyway, the hanged man, number 12. Water, Neptune energy, which is currently retrograde as far as I know. The tower sideways. Challenge position, number 16. Fire energy, Mars. Three of Pentacles, Mars in Capricorn, interesting, it's like I don't want to build this with you anymore, There's some bullshit up here man, it's like your plans are crap, I don't like them, the Hermit inverted, number nine, Number nine? Number nine? Virgo energy. The Hierophant inverted. Number five, Taurus energy. Also Venus slash the Empress. Four of Pentacles inverted. The Sun in Capricorn. So the Sun inverted tells me Moon energy. But also Saturn retrograde. What the hell was this? Mars and Capricorn. This is the wrong fuel for this engine. The Four of Swords. I'm surprised to see this again today. So now we have the moon. Wait, no, that's wrong. Jupiter and Libra. So that's Sagittarius energy. So this is upright. This is Leo. And then these are Mars. And then this is Sagittarius. And I, I did hear there was supposed to be some grand fire trine here sometime in this general region of time. Um. And that might be what's what's moving these energies right now, despite these other aspects. So there's a five of wands. Ha! Huh. Saturn and Leo. This is like exactly the opposite of this card. And then the six of swords. Mercury and Aquarius. Uranus retrograde. Okay. This is my we need to go deeper. Like I'm traveling down into Hades, into the underworld. Is there scorpionic energy here? I don't think so. <sighs> Ten swords, although they're not going the right way. 10, 10. Thirteen, death. Nineteen, the sun. Fifteen, the devil. Three and seven, ten. Alright, hold on a second. The energy is...
Saturn turning direct, which I think is like mid-September-ish, on the heels of this Grand Fire Trine. What's the Four of Swords again? Libra. Okay, so these are both Empress with the number three. The seven. Okay, these are both, I am waiting to get information from my higher self, seven, 17 the star. It's not like my Wi-Fi is down. I need to go deeper into my own self to be able to hear the universe. Eleven. When the hermit is inverted with these Roman numerals, it looks like eleven as well. But it's like... The hermit is like, I need to go within, but this is like, I'm looking for information outside of myself. I'm coming out of my cave. Oh. Ooh. Mm. Okay. If this is talking about a romantic relationship, I have a secret admirer. Every time I, someone thinks about coming out of the, their shell, out of the closet, whatever, to come to someone else, it's like, I don't want to get married to you. I'm conflicted because I feel like it's going to destroy my the structure of my reality every time I, I start to feel like I'm rested up and ready I feel conflicted and I turn and go the other way I retreat back into myself I I need to like I'm having trouble letting go in order to build something with you having trouble moving forward having trouble moving forward three and four three and four it's like I have enough strength in me to resist but it's like the resistance is causing this sort of mental fog that's like I'm not listening to my higher self because I'm using up all of my energy avoiding um, like coming out with the admission I there's like words that I'm having trouble articulating probably because the person's having trouble articulating but let me um let me clarify what I'm having a hard trouble time expressing so I had one flip over already five of cups All these fives are like, it's like sh energy that's shifting, that's turning, that's pivoting. Some of that, this Martian energy here, um, is a Mars symbol. My time. The Mars symbol looks like this. So it's roped in, but it's expanding. Whereas Sagittarius energy is like a free flying arrow. It's like tether ball versus, you know, kicking a kickball. Um, five of Cubs. Oh, here we go. Mars and Scorpio. How apt is that? 
every time I try to come out and talk, I shoot myself in the foot. I think I said that in the last bit. Or maybe I didn't. I feel like I said that already today. It's like, I, I, I keep trying to start over to come and I just, I can't, I can't seem to make it happen. Well, it's like, have you tried this way over here yet? You need to take your little harness and get yourself, put a thing in it and start drawing your circle going the other way. Need, what do I need to, let me figure out what I need to clarify. I want to clarify the hermit inverted a little bit. Queen of Swords. I mean, like, like a little bit of, are you going to reject me? Or it's sort of like my truth isn't strong enough to combat other truths. I have this peeker here. I'm going to pull it out. Page of Cups, right? I'm afraid to bring the truth because... I sort of like emotionally unsure. I want to clarify the hanged man too. I saw the devil there for a second. So the empress inverted. 12 breaking down to 3 empress inverted. It's like I feel it's, it's kind of like um, I'm getting the Torian energy where it's like I, I don't feel like I can make things comfortable enough. Like I'm, I don't have the, it's like I'm, I haven't leveled up enough to come to court with my expression. You know, it's like, like coming in as a page isn't going to do any good if I emotionally seem like, you know, I got my clothes from Walmart. I got my emotional clothes from Walmart and your emotional self-nurturing truth situation is like friggin' Balenciaga or something. It's like, I'm not, I'm not up, I'm not dressed up to the nines or something. I'm in, in my emotional uh, like ornateness or something. It's like, um, like I'm not f emotionally fluent enough to, to tell you my secret. That I feel like these energies are sort of pressing the point. Like within the next couple weeks, it's going to be shift, shift, shift. And I see f the five three times here. So it, it could be like two weeks or it could be, you know, some other increment of five, like on the 15th or, you know, five weeks or something like that. Okay. But essentially my heart's growing three sizes. When I started this, it's this idea of uh, like the sudden emotional expansion by the shifting of the energy is especially with Mars because Mars is in Aries right now and it's been this sort of last ego showdown right it's like my ego of I'm not good enough is start going to start healing or dissolving and then maybe I can finally make that that connection and be like with that uh, Beatles song there with George singing on it you know the I've got a secret that I'm in love with you and I can't remember how it goes right now but that's it okay so if you want to get a personal reading let me flip this the correct way and also like not choke to death on everything wow that is tilted all kinds of wrong way okay <clears throat> nope still no Urgh. I don't have professional filming skills, so this is as good as it's gonna get. 
try my hardest. We can't have skills and everything. Okay. If you want to get a personal reading, you can see the complete list of readings and how much they cost in the description box of my infomercial video, which is going to be linked below this one. You can also email me, the cat came back at camp at gmail.com. If you want to help contribute to this channel, you can donate paypal.me slash cat the minion. I also have Cash App in Venmo, and I would encourage you to come hang out with me on Patreon. The first layer, is, the first tier is uh, $3, and it grants access to romantic readings and deeper monthly horoscopes, and then there's a couple other tiers as well. Um, I also have uh, merch and prints here. I have coloring books and a poetry book. I have actual art items in my catalog here. So you can get a digital portrait, you get a foam lotus, stuffed animals, or uh, single pieces that are already complete. And there's a finite amount in here and once they're gone I'm going to change them out. I've got a bucket full of stuff and some paintings on the side. So it, there's things, there's stuff, there's playlists in my playlist tab, there's some little updates in my discussion tab, so check those out. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment if you're nasty, and stay groovy, and we'll see you later. Bye.